The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. We'll talk about Erickson's stages for a little bit. I added some notes here to help kind of clarify some stuff. They're called Erickson's Psychosocial Developmental Stages because it deals with the way the individual interacts with others in their environment. Um, each stage um, has a certain crisis to it where if the person resolves the crisis then it leads to kind of more like healthy adaption. And if they don't resolve the crisis in a good way it's more maladaptive. So in this first stage, um, trust versus mistrust, it deals with the way the infant um, develops a relationship with the environment. Um, this especially deals with the mother. So the child learns to either trust that their needs will be provided for or learns to mistrust that the world is kind of a scary place. In the second stage, um, from one to three years of age, um, children are kind of known for being really bad around two years of age, like the terrible twos where they learn to say no all the time. That's because they're learning to exercise their will and uh, kind of learn self-control. Um, if they don't develop independence properly, they will kind of um, experience shame and, and doubt. So um, in the third stage here, this is a little bit related um, to the control thing, the independence, um, initiative versus guilt. They learn to initiate activities on their own independently, or if they don't do that properly, then they will experience guilt over their attempts toward independence. Um, in the fourth stage here, this deals with um, their relationship to tasks, um, whether they're um, very curious and want to learn new tasks, or if not, then they experience inferiority and um, become apathetic towards their tasks. Um, this one's actually pretty aptly named, identity versus role confusion, occurs from adolescence to um, late teens all the way up until 20 years of age. This is where the individual is developing kind of their sense of self, um, their identity, uh, who they are as a person, what stuff they believe in, what they like, what they don't like. Um, if the individual doesn't um, develop a sense of what they want out of life, then they experience role confusion and um, can kind of become apathetic towards life. Um, in this stage here, um, intimacy versus isolation, the individual develops interpersonal relationships and learns to commit to others and uh, develop healthy um, relationships. If not, they can uh, feel lonely and isolated. Um, this last one, generativity versus stagnation, um, I like to think of generation. So um, is the person going back and helping other generations, their children, um, other people around them, or are they kind of stagnating and, and being by themselves um, kind of more selfish, more towards their own wants and needs versus the needs of others. So this stage really deals with how the individual cares for others. In this last stage, the individual kind of reflects back on their life. Um, did they live a meaningful life throughout all these other stages here? Or did they um, end up with a lot of regrets um, missed opportunities, um, things didn't go so well in, in these other stages. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.